In order to raise money for a local nonprofit, a few community leaders are hosting a holiday, because of the holidays, art burning. So I spoke with the event leaders on how attendees can actually save the artwork while helping victims of domestic abuse in a rather creative way. At the Art Factory, some of these pieces are destined for flames. Don't burn that piece, please don't, don't burn that piece. Artist Brenda Singletary Johnson is a renowned artist with artwork in the White House. She says she makes about 100 pieces a month, and so burning them, well... And usually we have it in somebody's home so that we can utilize a fireplace. Uh, when I did this in Atlanta, we'd have about 40 or 50 people. We could raise about $10,000 in my living room. How it works, of the nearly 100 donated pieces, attendees are urged to bid on the artwork on the auction block or watch it burn before their eyes. She's going to really watch. She's going to do this. And, uh, and, and everybody is really curious more than anything. Funds from this burn will go to Once is Enough Corporation. It's a nonprofit focused on helping survivors and children escape domestic abuse and sexual assault. Founder Princess Buchanan is hopeful. We are really trying to raise money for Once is Enough and Warren AME Church. This is very important for the community. I'm a mobile nonprofit. I go to my clients, small, up close, and personal. Buchanan started Once is Enough after escaping a 10 year abusive relationship. She says helping others helped heal her. I just needed to share my story, my survivor story, to others and to show them that. You can get out of situations. You just have to put an effort into it. As a domestic abuse survivor herself, Singletary Johnson says Buchanan's work is vital to the community. Now it's, it's almost commonplace. Parents are sending their kids to school and it's their hearts outside their bodies almost. Now, the holiday art burn and live auction is going to be Sunday. So this Sunday, December 4th at the Art Factory in downtown Toledo. Of course.